Welcome to the exciting world of Dart Skins Touchdown. This fast paced game is perfect for one on one challenges or team play battles when turns are shared. Each player or team will throw one dart at the Dart Skins logo. The player or team who lands closest to the centre of the Dart Skins logo will choose to go first or second. The goal of Dart Skins Touchdown is to become the first player or team to score 100 yards or more to reach the touchdown zone. This earns you 6 points. After a touchdown is achieved, one extra throw is used to try for a field goal, which is worth one extra point if successful. Before you begin, fill out a scorecard with your names or team names at the top. The scorecard tracks your yardage progress throughout the game, with four quarters, each consisting of eight rounds. After each quarter of Dartskin's touchdown is concluded, record the progressive game score below. Dartskin's touchdown begins in the first and third quarters with a kickoff. To initiate the kickoff in the first round, aim for the punt icon. If hit with one of the first two dart throws, use the remaining dart to score yards on the offensive side of the board. The yards you gain will be multiplied by three and recorded on a scorecard. If the punt icon is missed with the first two dart throws, no yards are gained and the player will start the second round at 20 yards. Throughout the rest of the game, players then decide whether to play offense or defense each turn. On offense, players are trying to move the ball down the field to score a touchdown. To do this, you'll need to activate a rush or a pass play by hitting that section in the top left hand side of the board with one of your first two dart throws. Once you've activated the play, the remaining darts are used to aim for the yardage section on the right hand side of the board. If a rush or pass icon is not hit in the first two dart throws, no gain is achieved for that round. Rush plays gain the actual yardage scored, while pass plays gain you double the yardage scored. Hitting a yellow section on the board means that you've committed a penalty and will lose that dart throw. On defense, you're trying to stop your opponent from scoring. You can do this by hitting the interception, fumble or sack sections on the top right hand side of the board with one of your first two dart throws. If you're successful, then aim for the yardage section on the left hand side of the board to deduct that amount of yardage from your opponent's score. Sacks will deduct the actual yardage you score from your opponent's total, while interceptions and fumbles will deduct double the yardage scored. Once you've reached 100 points or more, you've scored a touchdown. This earns 6 points. Players also get one extra throw to try for a field goal, which is worth one extra point if successful. After scoring a touchdown, you'll restart the next round at the 20 yard line, while your opponent's score remains the same. The game is divided into four quarters. At the end of each quarter, both players or teams will keep their yardage score going into the next quarter. However, in the third quarter, everyone resets to the 20 yard line and starts with another punt kickoff to start the second half. If your opponent is within 20 yards of scoring a touchdown, you can try push them back by aiming for the punt icon on defense. If a player or team is pushed back into the negative yards due to a defensive play, two points will be awarded to the opposition. The player or team who was pushed back will then restart their next turn at the 20 yard line in the following round. In the last two rounds of the second and fourth quarters, players can opt to go for a Hail Mary play. To achieve this, hit the pass section with one of your first two darts and the center ball to achieve the Hail Mary touchdown. But be careful, if you hit the interception ring instead, you'll lose 25 yards. The player or team with the most points at the end of the fourth quarter is the winner. And just like all Dartskins games, on the line is in.